Ratsy, thank you very much indeed. And hello from the main arena. 7,000, not a space to be had here at the main arena. Tremendous crowds throughout Crufts 2023. And just to endorse what uh, Ratsy and Ashley have been saying you, we're about to see the young kennel competition have been holding uh, for the agility dog of the year they've been competing all morning and the winners of the age groups heights are here now those two age groups 6 to 11 and 12 to 17 small medium intermediate and large dogs quick word about the judge from you Graham there is Cameron's been judging in the YKC ring all day today uh, he's a former YKC member and it's great that he's uh, allowed to come here and judge the people that he's been judging all day here in the main arena. Just to underline, all competing for the one prize. First of six small dogs, Dylan Osborne with Jelly, Cocker Spaniel from the 12 to 17 age groups. Doesn't matter how old you are, there's just one prize at the end of it. Dylan will get us underway. Off we go. If you're joining us for the first time, you have to make contact with that white part of the A-frame. You have to enter the weaves from the right. And Dylan didn't and picked up five folds up through the tunnel at the far end of the course. Coming towards our commentary position now. Through that tunnel and a tight right-hand turn. Moving very rapidly over the ground and despite those five faults, this is a good round for Dylan and for Jelly. Seesaw have to make contact and that seesaw has to be down before the dog gets off it. Up and down over the dog walk again, contact at the end of it. That's a very quick round and just the five faults for Dylan and for Jelly. Ten faults, I should say. Fantastic. And anyone who thought that uh, watching the Young Kennel Club members, it was just like going to be watching dogs bimbling around here, think again. This is top quality competition here today, Jim. Next small dog from the 12 to 17 age group, Chloe Cooper and Sweep Crossbreed. Sweep ready to go and away goes Sweep and Chloe. Go on, Graham, talk us around the course here. Lovely, lovely course set here by Cameron. Uh, there's just enough in it to test uh, these young Kennel Club members. It's also enough just to let them dogs stretch their legs. They're coming round the corner here, over the Royal Cannon jump, into the tunnel. Now, you see, she changes side to pick the dog up on the left, into the tunnel again. Now she's got to get the dog across and then back. And now the seesaw is next. The seesaw must be touching the ground when the dog gets off it, and the dog must touch both white bits. Onto the dog walk, especially again. Must touch the white bits. Great cheer from the crowd as she comes to a finish. 35-0-4-5. That's gone into the lead. A faultless 34.05 from Chloe and from Sweep. And the Young Kennel Club providing real good entertainment and real high quality performances as well already. This is Totti, Titanium Penny Black, and Catherine Lowe's, latest uh, small dog from the 12 till 17 age group. Been working a long time to get here all morning as well, and now here they are on the green carpet. A frame is good, good contact at the end of that. Enter those weaves from the right. Seen dogs go through those a bit quicker, but that was clean and the tunnel is fine as well. Now coming towards our commentary position. Clears those safely. Again through the tunnel, look to the sound going through the tunnel. Always tremendous that. And the second tunnel at the far end of the course. Round towards us, a little tight left-hander. In and out of that tunnel again. Seesaw is good, completing the course. Might be slightly slower than the rest, but it's a really good round from Catherine and from Totti. Yep, 43.7 and clear. They will be very happy with their crafts experience, Graham. They were, they, I mean, they, I just can't stress how well these uh, young Kennel Club members are doing. It's a daunting experience in this main arena at the best of time. We've got a capacity crowd who are looking forward to some great agility. Well, look at this. Savannah, Cartwright and Nim Nim. We're into the 6 to 11 group of the small dogs. 7,000 people here, millions of you watching on television and everyone will be saying supporting this particular combination. Weaves at 
Lim Lim's own pace. And this is absolutely tremendous. And we heard Ashley Butler saying, multiple championship winner, of course, Ashley. This is how she started out. And what a wonderful experience for Savannah and for Nim Nim here. And it's quite a nice lifestyle. Such a lot to think about as well for, for, uh, for the little ones here. I mean, as you say, it's, you've got to think about the dog, think about the numbers. Where am I going? Oh, everybody's making a noise. Everybody's clapping me. It's brilliant. And she's got to keep it all together, which she's doing brilliantly well here, Jim. Absolutely exceptional. Don't worry about the time. They're keeping it all together. It's faultless. Brilliant effort. Well done, Savannah. Well done, Nim Nim. As close to a standing ovation as anybody would get at the main arena at Crufts. Lovely stuff. Through the weaves at Nim Nim's own pace. And look at the concentration there. Brilliant. Look at the smile. She's having a ball. And that, Jim, sums up Crufts and the Young Kennel Club. It's got to be fun. Agility. This is Betty and uh, Thomas Newsom. Again, still in the 6 to 11 group. Small dogs. Border Terrier. <laughs> oh, 7,000 R's there. Right? Yep, he doesn't care. He's, he's out to win this. Um, so, <laughs> so he, uh, and, and that's what he's going to try and do. And that's, that's absolutely brilliant. Dog agility teaches. Uh, the youngsters such a great deal, not only about uh, their own dogs, but other people as well. Um, it really is a great organisation. They don't just do agility, they do all sorts of dog activities, Jim, uh, and this is just one of them. Is there any particular age, Graham, when you say you shouldn't do it as young as that, or you should take it up then? I think, well, this is for six, uh, youngest is six uh, here, and I think it's brilliant. Earlier the better. Earlier the better then for Thomas Newsom and for Betty. Get up and down over the dog walk. Applauded home by everybody here. Good stuff, Thomas. Well done, Betty. Beautiful Betty. A good combination, that. And this has been a really, really entertaining competition so far. Tremendous from the Young Kennel Club and, of course, the Young Dogs as well. Last of the small dogs, Chase and Violet Higgins. Again, a 6 to 11 small group, and Chase is not going to hang around. Quickly over the A-frame. Really good first five seconds here. Chase and Violet won prizes here at Crux, no doubt about that. Great jumping style as well. Real tight lines, real pace from these two, from Violet and from Chess. Can they keep it going? It's clear so far. It's been absolutely excellent so far as well. Coming towards the conclusion of the round. Seesaw is good. Good contact there. Through that tunnel. Then over the dog wall they go. Roared home over the dog wall. Chase and Violet. 34.9 seconds. And that is number one, deservedly so. As good as you will see the whole weekend, and I'm including the seniors and some of the, the big competitions here, absolutely brilliant. And this is a crossbreed dog, just to reiterate, you can have any sort of dog to take part in agility, Jim. A proper, proper performance. Remember the name, Violet Higgins, and remember that name as well, Chase. That's how things stand at the moment. 34.9, the best time for Violet Higgins and for Chase. So we're just popping up the jumps for the next height category. Just to reiterate, we've got two different age groups been uh, represented here. Four heights in each of the age categories. They're all competing for one overall prize. They will have been in the YKC ring qualifying for tonight's final and each of those competitions will have run to an end but this is for the specific title of Agility Dog of the Year. Thank you, Graham. You're looking at Oscar and Scarlett Benson, medium size, 12 to 17, the age group, the first of four medium dogs. Bit gingerly over the A-frame there. I think timing could be a problem, but accuracy and not picking up faults, that will be the aim for Oscar and for Scarlett. Coming towards might... the, the Royal Canaan jump in front of us. 
there's a good relationship between these two, Graham. There is a little bit of hesitation there as approaching the jumps, but these dogs, and especially the handlers, will not have been in an atmosphere like this. So you can understand a little bit of hesitancy, a little lack of confidence. Really important to try and keep the dog happy. Uh, and it's picking up speed now. This is going to be a really nice dog walk. Oh, picks up five bolts. Such a shame. It's a great shame at the end of, of that uh, dog walk. A reminder, if you're joining us for the first time, there's a little white marker at the start of the dog walk and a white marker at the end of it missed that white marker. That means five faults. This is Izzy, Cocker Spaniel and Ellie Beach. Again, we're still in the 12 to 17 group. And again, <laughs> is, he, is he doing things uh, that, their own way, their own time? And uh, we have to allow, allow, allow for that. Just underlining what Graham has said. I mean, it tests the best, the atmosphere here Saturday of Crufts 2023. And um, the lights are on, the clocks are ticking, but this is still... A very, very respectable performance from Ellie Beach and from Izzy, the Cocker Spaniel. Worked so many hours to get here. And you would imagine that this will give them a taste of the big time and will say they want more. Great, generous applause from the dog-loving crowd here for Ellie Beach, Ellie Beach and for Izzy. Definitely, and you can see the dog physically pick up um, in confidence the further it got round. It is a Cocker Spaniel, and if there's a sniff to be sniffed, it'll sniff it. <laughs> Excellent. Looking at Rudy, crossbreed, and uh, Will Backus as we continue. The medium dogs in the 12 to 17 age group, and this one means business at the start, it would seem. That's the way to go through those weaves. Well done, Rudy. No points in a good first 10 seconds. Rattling the sides of the tunnel. Good jumping style coming right towards us in our commentary position as we sit high in the stand here. Again, good style through the tunnel and eagerly through that second tunnel as well. Look, this is going to be right up there, threatening the sharp end if they keep it going and keep it clean and fast over the last bit. Good contact at the end of the seesaw through that last tunnel this is going to be fast up and down over the dog walk that really is an excellent performance second place for will backers and for rudy right up there graham quality uh, partnership this i know will quite well he's from my part of the world it's come on immensely uh, he's uh, they're going to be trying out for the junior world championship soon and i'm confident he will be part of that team last of the medium dogs then Tess and Faith Elkins, the last medium dog. A reminder, 34.9, and clear is the time to beat at the moment. And I don't think they're going to do it, would be my expert assessment earlier on, but they were bound to give us a lot of entertainment on the way with Tess and Faith. How valuable is the whole, are the whole experience here uh, for, for young Faith, would you think? It, it's invaluable whether you're six or 60, if I'm honest with you. You have to be here one, at least once to get used and soak up this atmosphere. And I just, well, I, I'm almost at a loss for words how, how great these kids are doing. You're never at a loss for words, Graham, you know that. But, yeah, huge admiration for all the young Kennel Club competitors and, of course, for the dogs as well. For Faith Elkins and for Tess. Again, a clear round, no faults at all, and that's good enough for fifth place as things stand. Not the quickest we've seen, but no faults. That's always very, very important. Again, now we're going into the in intermediate section. On we go as before we move along then. Here is the leaderboard thus far and look at 34.9 for, for Violet and then into the 35s for Will and for Chloe. Catherine 43.7 and Faith 45.1. So then, first of six intermediate dogs, Maddie and Josh Tyson in the age group 12 till 17, and it's a quiet stroll on the green carpet 
little afternoon stroll for Maddie and uh, for Josh. Sees no reason the retriever, the lab, why they should hurry and. Uh, it's fair to say, keeping a little bit in reserve here, Graham. Well, I think it is, but I, I mean, years ago, Jim, when we were watching these competitions, you would say that just about every dog used to belong to the to the young people's parents. Not not now these days. They train their own dogs, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're doing really, really well. They're yeah. completing all the obstacles. They're coming up now to dog walk. You just need to make this white piece at the end for a very nice and very respectable... Oh, and he doesn't. Such a shame. But still, very well done. Yes, you have to have that contact, the little stroll uh, th through the weaves. Then he gathered a little bit of confidence, uh, did Maddie, and perhaps too too much uh, confidence at the end of it. You've got to touch a white bit at the end of the dog walk. Crossbred Nico and Isabel Patterson. Again, 12 to 17 age group. Intermediate dogs. Well, this is pretty good. That actually picked up speed there through the weeds and, and through the tunnel. And Nico, after a slightly hesitant start, really warming to it now. That's as good a jumping as we've seen from Nico and from Isabel. Rattling through the tunnel, clearing that one with ease as well. Flash, blink of an eye in and out of, the, of that one. A sharp left-hander again. Have to go through the tunnel, all fine. Seesaw time is, is pretty good as well. With a big finish, they need a big, big finish here over the dog walk. Needs a big finish, just a bit of hesitation at the end of it. 37.9, and that is fourth place for Nico and for Isabel. Very nice round there for Isabel and Nico. Uh, she kept it together, she didn't take her eyes off the dog, she concentrated the whole way through. The dog listened, brilliant round. You're looking at Drift, Border Collie, Sophie Atkinson, another intermediate dog again. 12 to 17, the Young Kennel Club age group. Well, that is good through the weeds. Good first 10 seconds for Sophie and for Drift. Sophie right up there with Drift as well, and all the communications are working well so far. This looks good. Needs a big finish through the tunnel. Seesaw, tunnel again with a big finish. This could be really exceptional. Is it a big finish? Is it a clean finish? It is. 33.8. Sophie and Drift go to number one. And very well-deserved first place at the moment. Lovely dog, beautifully handled, uh, and, and a lesson to everybody, really. You're looking at Jess, working sheepdog. Emilia Lunardi is the handler. Ages are 6 to 11 intermediate dogs. <laughs> you, just, you just have to chuckle when a dog like Jess takes the time over, over the A-frame. There's, there's no point in uh, criticising too heavily or getting angry, is there, Graham? They just have to chuckle. It's, it's not even a, a, a criticism, really. I mean, she, the dog obviously likes to jump off. She made, said to him, you're going to get this contact and make sure the judge sees it. So, well, good, good fair play to her, Jim. Abs absolutely right. Well done, uh, Emily, Amelia and Jess. Just a little gentle step over the seesaw. Wants a pat on the head for that. <laughs> we'll get something at the end of it. Makes contact at the end of the dog walk as well. Good stuff. You can see the appreciation uh, of the crowd as well. And there we go. And that and is and good enough really for the well. top eight. Sorry, Graham. She did really well. When things don't go quite right, she kept her head and concentrated, and the dog did it. And look at that. She's just, nope, you're going to do this. Brilliant. Off and running, Twiglet and Isabella Taylor, ages 6 to 11. Twiglet with a good start, and Isabella right ahead of him. Yeah, perfect communication between a handler and animal here, clearing those jumps fantastically well. And the time is very respectable as two for Isabella and for Twiglet. Good through the time. 
Little pause, little pause there. But anyway, made good contact. Up and down over the dog walk. This will be this will be more than respectable. 39.0 and the five penalties for Isabella and for Twiglet just outside the top ten. Brilliant, brilliantly handled. She got herself in exactly the right place uh, and the dog responded accordingly. The last of the intermediate dogs then, Twix and William Hintz, working sheepdog. Again, we're into the 6 to 11 age group. And Twix is not hanging around. Little growl of, I'm enjoying this immensely. Good jumping style from Twix, good speed as well. This is very well up there with the, with the clock and no faults too. This could be good with a big finale over that dog walk. 30, 31, 32, 33, 35.1 for Twix and for William. That's really good and that's into the top five. Beautifully into the weaving poles. Great action by the dog there. It's a round that to uh, be proud of in any competition, let alone the YKC. This is how it stands then at the moment, with Sophie at 33.8 playing 34.9. So a second clear of Violet Will Backus, Chloe Cooper, and William Heinz rounding up the top five. We're away with Epic and E.B. Thompson, first of six large dogs, the 12 to 17 age group this. And E.B. and Epic having a really good opening 20 seconds. Little buzzer about the capacity crowd here on International Day Saturday. This will be well up there, these two well up there. 33.9 up there, and that is up there into second place, a fraction of a second away from leading the competition. And the capacity crowd here are just loving every minute of this, a really nicely made contact, making sure the dog does the last jump, and then he's going to offer his reward. You're looking at Beat and Max Glover, age group 12 to 17, again the large group, and Beat really keen to go and just hesitated there a moment, but very keen to get in into the work and working well through the weaves too. And this is a pairing uh, which have been in fantastic form all year. Uh, this, the Brit Great British Junior team did fantastically well at the World Championships last year. Uh, and Max was part of that team, so we're incredibly proud of what they've achieved. We're going to hear a little bit more about it later on. You can see why, what a fantastic run. Oh, smashed it. 32, 26, oh, brilliant. Well done, Max. Well done, Beat. Brilliant, my co-commentator said. And they go to number one now, the lead changing all the time. This is Leia. And Adam Thompson off and running over the A-frame. It's getting quicker and quicker. They've got to get into the 32s now, and they're threatening to do that, judging by the, the speed and prowess through the weaves. Real time, real great jumping, not losing a second, not losing any time at all through the tunnel. That a tight right-hander. This is outstanding so far. Can they keep it going? Will they crack that 32.2? Good work, and they're right up with the clock. They're well inside it now. They're right up with it. Look at the speed over the top. That is sensational. 31.1. They've taken a full second off it. And Leah and Adam Thompson. Sensational is absolutely the right word to use. He just decided. I need to win this, and he went for it, and I think he could do really well. You're looking at Ginny, Border Collie, Maya Cartwright from the 6 to 11 age group, large dogs. Remember, no matter what the age, that they're all going into one pot and there will be one winner. But there's been so much high quality competition. The young kennel club breeding, producing, I should say, great handlers of the future.
and actually of the present as well, because we've got one here in young Maya Cartwright, who has got Ginny round this very tricky course really effectively and really quickly and without any faults however as they go on to the dog walk and I'm looking for contact at the end of it and there is contact at the end of it 39.2 for Ginny and uh, for Maya top 10 she did brilliantly well but I think we've got to just mention our judge again Cameron Bunce set this course at a fantastic appropriate level did really well and quite often how long a judge can uh, influence a course, Jim. Penultimate dog of the competition. Diesel, Kerry Salton, working sheepdog. 31.1 is the time to beat. This one will not beat it, but we will watch the round. Six to 11 age group, of course. And uh, young Kerry. <laughs> Looking well in control of things. I think young Keris, when they had the water and wanted to go a certain way, and the, <laughs> the people in the middle of the arena said, no, you can't go that way. She wasn't that chuffed about it. But there we are. She's absolutely fearless. You have to say that here and handling the dog as well as she can. And the crowd helping along, supporting them all the way. And I'm sure all of you are at home or on our massive YouTube audience as well. Well done, Keris. Well done, Diesel. Huge applause for the two of them. Yeah, good work. Good work. And that's what the Kennel Club, and particularly the Young Kennel Club, is all about. Supporting each other, you know, and just hoping that the kids can do their, do their very, very best. The last dog, it is Rue, a working sheepdog, and Isabella Twig from the 6 to 11 age group that have given us so much entertainment and so much hope for the future as well this agility sport is in very good hands and i'm sure a lot of you will be watching and saying i want to have a go at that and no matter how how old you are give it a go and you never know you might end up here on the green carpet at crux really good work from Isabella and from Rue. Another really, really promising round. A round that uh, she has done so well. 34, 35, 35.6. That's absolutely terrific from Isabella and uh, for Rue. And they sit snugly just inside the top 10. Very nice indeed. And, and what is particularly nice is when she finished, she turned around and said thank you to the judge. Good manners, well brought up. So it's fantastic. So there we go, Leah and Adam Thompson, the only one in the 31s from the 12 to 17 group, wins in second place. Max Glover uh, with beat again, all clear rounds. These Sophie Atkinson and Drift, and then Evie Thompson and Violet Higgins round out our top five. Evie with Epic. Well, it really was an amazing competition. These are the future of this sport, and it really was a fantastic competition, showing some amazing skill when it comes to agility. Very, very high standard indeed from our youngsters this afternoon. So please step forward to do our presentation. Jonathan Wollstoneholm of Royal Cannon and Gerald King, president of the Young Kennel Club. Please give them a big round of applause. And now, the winner of the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year 2023, with Brewich Armani Girls Rock, please welcome Adam Thompson! And your runner-up in second place, with the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year 2023, with Noard Lude beat at Sol Days, Max Glover! Please keep the applause going, give them a big hand, because it is now Lap of Honor time!